Yo, GameStop stock, GameStop stock is out of control, bro. Like, I know I usually do the uh, Instacart videos, whatever tutorials, Instacart strategies. That's that's me all day. But I gotta let you know when money is being made. GameStop stock GME is going up once again. I think it's up like a hundred something percent on the day. Like I saw it and I had a I ain't gonna lie, bro. I I was suited up on. I had a short short option on it, but man, I had to get out of the way. I wasn't about to, you know, you wasn't about to squeeze me. I had to jump up out, put a little money into it. Now it's like running. So if you got a little extra money, you know what I'm saying, you willing to throw in the market, GME is running up. And I don't think it's going to stop. I think it's got at least two or three days of steam on it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we out here making money. You got to put it in the right places. Like, subscribe, Instacart Strategies, look me up, Instagram, YouTube, comment below. Let me know what number you get in on the GME stock. I'm trying to give y'all an early heads up. You know, I'm just looking out, man, because, hey, GameStop, boy, I don't know what's going on with that stock, boy. It's like, when they, uh, man, man, y'all do y'all research, man. All right, I'm out. Yo, what is up, YouTube? Instacart shoppers, ship shoppers, DoorDash shoppers, or whatever it is you guys are calling yourself these days. Uh, Instacart strategies back again. It's been a minute, but yo, my my rating is down to like 4.98 again. It bumped up to five stars, but now it's back down. So life gets life gets rough. And then we got finals and all that going on. So yeah, man. I mean, I'm multitasking though. So, today uh, I want to talk about a few things. It was pretty slow today. Wednesday, what's today? The February the 23rd, I want to say. I don't know. I have to double check. But, yeah, man, it's been pretty slow, especially for a Wednesday. Usually Wednesday is kind of, you know, hopping a little bit. They got all the, they sends out all the uh, flyers and all the uh, special buy, whatever around on Wednesday so usually it's kind of busy but man it was like extra slow today I don't know I still made the quota you know I I, I I get it done but it was not easy had to give me a little bun towards the end of the day $68 Costco order that was nice kind of say today right there but yeah man yeah it wasn't easy the other day man I was just I was thinking about it the other day I had to cancel on the lady yeah, man, I had to cancel my, uh, I had to cancel my bad, I'm driving. I know it's a little dangerous, but I got to push out the content when I can. But the other day, I had to cancel a batch, my Instacart batch, because the lady was like, so I had two customers. One customer was cool, you know, they, they, they were both responding, but one customer was a little upset towards like midway through the order because... I went to a different store. It's Kroger. The Kroger, they're all over the place. I went to a different Kroger because the one that was sending me to is always extremely busy and I wasn't trying to deal with that. And I, you know, I figured better for the customer because I can get the items there faster. So I went to a different Kroger to shop the Instacart order. And uh, she was like, they were out of a lot of stuff, like, which I'll admit sometimes it seems like the app kind of knows what the store has in stock so it sends you to a certain store so you know sometimes it's like a gamble or whatever doing that but i'm not the type to just like get you a replacement on everything if it's not there and i feel like it can be easily replaced it's something that's you know most people wouldn't care too much about the brand then yeah i go ahead and switch it out but if it's not the case if that's not the case and it's an item that i don't know like uh kosher salt or something i'm not gonna switch the brand because i don't know what you might have against one brand or another in addition to that i'm not sure how much the price difference is gonna be so she had like Indianapolis Road. she had like a lot of uh a lot of that going on a lot of items that i couldn't replace to the point where it was like half of her order 
wasn't going to be there. And she was responding, but then she wasn't responding towards the end. And it was like, man, I don't know if you upset out. now or what. But I'm probably, you know, just going to cancel it. Because if they're not responding and I show up with half of their items, some people don't know the check that they get refunds. They just know that you didn't bring their stuff. And now they're trying to report you. I've had it happen. I've had it happen. So, yeah, man. I mean, I might do a little another story time about that. How to get reactivated after being deactivated on Instacart. Uh, but yeah man like she wasn't answering and she wasn't responding i they didn't have the chip she wanted i didn't know she wanted a replacement because she had notes on a lot of stuff that she didn't want replacements so i'm like i don't know what you want lady and uh she wasn't answering so i hit up uh instacart or um what's it called uh, the customer service instacart care to cancel her and then she starts like responding towards the end when I'm about to leave out, which is no big deal. I already had most of her order anyway, but she was kind of being like crappy towards me. Like she was like, wow, they're out of a lot of stuff. I was like, yeah, sorry. I uh, guess they have low stock today. And she was like, well, did you go to the correct Kroger? I'm like, hold up now. First off, like, why does it matter? Like any Kroger I go to, it's kind of up to me. It's up to my discretion because sometimes they send you to a Kroger 30 minutes away but they gave you the batch because you're close to the house and it's another Kroger that's right there next to their house and then they get upset that you went to a different Kroger not the one that's close to their place so I usually go to the closest store that I can get to that makes sense when it comes to delivering the order at the same time as picking up the order because um, all that counts all that adds up like all that matters at the end of the day when you're trying to make a certain quota time is money you have to be smart about your movements but yeah man she was upset and she was like and I, I actually asked her I was like well do you want me to just cancel the order and she was like no it's fine but this is after she done told me this is after she done got like crappy with me and told me that she wasn't trying to like I don't know she I just got a bad vibe you know like you get a vibe from customers and I wasn't feeling hers so I canceled on her man it wasn't nothing against her I just I actually told her like I have to protect my rating I'm I believe you might give me a bad rating so you you guys got to think about that cancel maybe she was giving a good tip I don't know because I mean I still got to check the order to see how it all played out but a good tip isn't always worth it like if they're a crappy customer and they want you to deal with their BS and take all their emotional whatever from the day, then it's like, man, is it worth it? And maybe she gives you a two star, three star, one star. Now your rating's messed up. She's upset for one moment and now your money's messed up for two weeks. So you gotta think about that and you know, it's all, it's all pros and cons, but yeah, man, I had to cancel old girl. I had to cancel the lady. I don't suggest doing it, but I do suggest using discretion when it comes to doing batches and making sure the customer is going to give you the rating that you deserve. Because, I mean, you know if you actually like out there really doing it or not. Because most of the time you ain't going to care if you aren't a good shopper anyway, but good shoppers care about their good rating just like they care about giving you good service. So... It's all a part of the game, man. It's all a part of the game. Got to make your daily quota. Instacart strategies, man. Look me up on Insta, uh, Instagram. Uh, probably finna start like adding a little bit to this uh, Instacart strategies on YouTube because Instacart's cool, but it's like not all that I got going on. I kind of want to build things upon what I got going on in my lifestyle as opposed to just on Instacart. Instacart got me started, but that ain't where it's gonna finish hit me up like subscribe i'm out